Hey everyone, I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for the uh, full moon in Pisces reading this evening. I'm Shannon, this is Apex Tarot, and I'm glad that you've joined me. I hope everybody has literally been um, going within today and really just making up your mind you're going to release tonight and let things completely go. Um, I'm excited to light a candle with you all tonight and to do the same thing. I've been meditating on some things. I've actually been doing that for a, a little while, the last few days. All last week I felt this full moon <laughs> before we've even gotten here. And uh, many of you are very sensitive like that in the spirit as well and you understand what that's like. And uh, many of you, I believe tonight, are going to have your senses really opened up in a new positive way. And uh, we're going to have a very beautiful new cycle for those of us who do this tonight together. So uh, without further ado, let's just go ahead and just get really focused really quick and um, connect with the divine. I just thank you, sweet divine, for all these viewers that have tuned in here to release tonight to flip ourselves around and to see things from a totally new point of view and to tap in to our intuition so that from this point on this moment on that we will completely know what to do I bind and block all negative forces that would try to come in and hinder anything where this reading is concerned where the viewer is concerned for my soul group for this community i bless them and we just bless this reading what do we need to know tonight just let us know precisely by thy wisdom we thank you okay so i'm going to go ahead and uh grab my i have a crab here <laughs> lighter which is the fourth house the moon represent the moon rules over the fourth house and um i just happen to have this it's a um our emotions, right? It represents the, the mother, the moon does. Now it's in Pisces as we know, but the moon rules over the, the fourth house. So I just happen to have this, so this is what I'm gonna light my candle with. So I have a little candle here that I'm gonna go ahead and light. So let's just do this together. We just thank you, sweet spirit. And we release everything that we've been hanging on to and we just release it with this full moon. I'm excited, y'all. <laughs> I'm totally excited. Let's just take a deep breath. And release. And don't turn back. Don't hang on to it. If it tries to come back up, push it down. Say, no, I already released it on the night of the full moon. Let's go ahead. I'm using the Black Cat's Tarot tonight. And uh, we're going to see what the spirit wants. It's like I just see one that's flipped over. Beautiful. This is uh, one that's flipped over. It is the, uh, I can't ever tell if this is the king or the queen, but it doesn't matter. The sword is being sharpened here uh, with this ace of swords that the king or queen of swords is sharpening. And that's you and I. Releasing and speaking truth from this moment forth and cutting away all things that just do not serve you and I anymore. It's important. And uh, I love that. I love that that's the card that, <laughs> the first card that we get tonight that we get to look at. But I'm going to go ahead and um, cut these cards three ways and we'll see what wants to come out for you and I. Thank you, sweet divine. What do we need to know? What's the collective need to know? Okay, at the bottom of the deck. Oh, I love it. It's the emperor, one of my favorites. And this is us taking charge and the uh, universe, the father figure of the universe backing us up with a vengeance towards every negative thing, uh, with passion, with love, with, you know, everything within him he aids us this is what the emperor uh, does for you and i when we're our backs up against the wall and we cry out to the universe cry out to the great divine and the emperor comes the ancient of days right 
who is always there to bring us aid in whatever it is that you and I need to help us fight against war against the passions within. And uh, I love it. I love that it's the emperor that comes out. Y'all know that <laughs> the emperor is one of my absolute favorites. You and I have to, you know, set up on our throne from here on out, whatever we've released, whatever, you know, a lot of people have released things tonight that they've held on for years, year after year after year. And you've decided to, to do a very uh, encouraging thing for yourself, for your families. This is a family type energy as well. And uh, we all come from somewhere, right? And uh, this is beautiful that you and I discover that we have all four kings and queens on the inside of us. That's what the emperor and the empress have within them. Not afraid to stand up in war when you need to. Wear the crown, right? I love it. I absolutely love it. The emperor. We've got the four of swords and this is rusting after all the heartbreak. The three of swords is the, you know, the swords going right through the heart. Now we just seen the ace of swords being sharpened by the king and the queen. I'll just call it king queen because <laughs> I never can tell this deck which one's which for some of them. And this is you and I, even though, yeah, okay. So we've gotten hurt and we've sat there and we've pouted for a while. And now we've decided to release and to heal that heart. Even if we've got a broken leg whatever that is for you and I. It's stability though, because this is, um, hold on just a second. This is the High Arcana number four, and what came out was down in this realm, the other four, and it's the swords, right? And look at that, as above, so below. When we are in war, and the Emperor represents war, when we're in war, it's not fun, and sometimes we get wounded along the way. But the the important thing is that we put our leg up and nurture that hurt through passion in a very, very, very high volume, uh, mature way from here on out. So, you know, some people it's 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 hard to release. And you might be sitting there going, I don't want to do this because it's too hard for me. I don't know if I can get through it. And the, the, the emperor's coming and saying, I'm going to aid you through this. Okay? I'm going to aid you through it. And you're going to be just fine. So this our overall energy is resting after uh, a really hard mental process that you and I have been through. Heartbreak, words spoken, the past, whatever it is. It's that we release it, right? So in our now position, <laughs> new beginning, what, what more can I say? This is the full, starting completely over. There's the full moon there. You and I are wiped completely clean now. The white represents purity, right? In the midst of laying it all down through the fight, now we start over. This is in our now position. I love it. I absolutely love it. What's crossing us? The Two of Cups. You and I having the polaric balance within and without, with others, in, in, in seeing eye to eye, in being a people of love, people of comfort. I mean, this soulmate stuff, when you and I learn how to release things and start over, then we're happy again even in the midst of us having to put our leg up here and knowing that we're sore on some things but we're going to heal right it's going to be fine like i said the emperor is here to aid us beautiful beautiful sometimes we got to be hard on ourselves we do the deep past <laughs> this came out the other day now this is the king of uh, cups the past was you know maybe communication problems not being able to talk to yourself even saying i ah i gotta i gotta get rid of this um some people were writing letters and having communications in different ways than they shouldn't have had right but now we've got in the now position things being our wounds being wrapped up and new beginnings and healing and reconciling and uh, deep past, whatever was causing, you know, either lack of emotional, uh, you know, 
uh, opening up, I'm at a loss for words, uh, or too much of it, whatever this is, whatever that letter was about, whatever m made this happen, what, whatever was, maybe this was something beautiful, something got in the way, obviously, because like I said, the three of swords comes before the four of swords, but we've released it now. And some of you are going to reconcile. And this person may be coming back into your life. This person may not be. But either way, we're healing after a stressful time, right? And what just happened? A new beginning. And, you know, some people, like I said, look at the face. Some people are, don't like it. <laughs> some people didn't do it. Some people didn't light a candle. Uh, some people did it thinking that, well, I can do it grudgingly and it'll be okay and it ain't. Because unless you do it from the motive of your heart and war against that stuff, it's not, you're not going to see a change. We have to get really, really honest with ourselves, you know, and get rid of negativity, gossip. This could be a gossipy energy. At the same time, in the up and up, it does represent, because the page is supposed to be, bring good news, right? Uh, and where we're at right now is beautiful. We just released. And we're getting our polaric balance, right? We made the decision to do that. And what just happened, some people didn't like it. And some people turned the page and we don't care. Some people uh, will gossip about you forgiving certain people and letting certain people back in your life. And some people will rejoice with you. And this can go either way. Uh, this is also people that are going to see that some people don't like that and going to have to secret service you and I. Uh, and that's what you and I do to one another is come together and help support even during the midst of some people that want to stay here. Can't do anything about them. They want to stay childish, let them stay childish. Uh, but then again, on the up and up, what just happened is we got rid of lying, deceiving energy as well. So it goes both ways, really. It really does. And, which I love that we're getting rid of it. We're cutting it out. Because the king and queen of swords that we saw at the beginning out trumps that page. Now, what just happened is also is that, you know, reconciliation with children are also, you know, going to return as well. The, you know, the emperor represents the father figure, the father, parental things, right? So we've got the top of the top and the lowest of the low and putting down any kind of lies and any kind of things that would try to control us. He also represents control and being stubborn. And some people are going to stay in a stubborn tyrant type of energy and a lot of us just released it and started over. So it's up to you what side you're, you're finding yourself on. You're either going to heal or you're going to sit there and pout. <laughs> Because <laughs> it comes, it goes both ways all day long, every day, y'all. It really does. What's at the top is a transformation. Absolutely, I love it. And here's another four. It's thirteen. Things coming up from down within, and we dealing with it, flipping ourselves around, dealt with it all day. Hopefully, you've done that, and now we've transformed. There's the moon again. We're releasing, right? We're laying things to rest. To never again look at them. And it's not going to come easy for some people. Like I said, that's why some people are just like, mm -hmm, having to push that down. But we're going to do it. The universe is backing us up, y'all. The universe is backing us up. The, the sweet divine is here. The outcome, oh my gosh, you guys. The outcome, if we do this and we continue to do this, we will continue to shed the old and continue to stay new in every single cycle. I love it. Saturn energy. Saturn's gone direct. It's like, here I am. Here's a new transformation for you. Even if it's hard, even if you gotta grit your teeth, even if you gotta, you know, sit there and pout because, you know, you maybe have broken your ankle or something like that during the process, but it's for the betterment. It's to get you stable, the four, the four. We got three fours here. The thirteens of four as well. It's a transformation. It's a new beginning, right? Definitely a new beginning. Beautiful new beginnings. Shedding the old. Becoming new again. Never looking back the same way that we had been. We're new. We're fresh. Beautiful energy coming out here, y'all. That's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, yes, it's ending, though. 
more swords and opening the door tonight is what you just did you and I just lit that candle we got to open the door and pass from one place to the next that is exactly what um, transformation is laying something to rest that didn't need to be there and becoming new again right jumping off the cliff becoming new again taking off the old and becoming new again beautiful and we're healing and it's a day-by-day -day process it, no matter what all this heartbreak was backstabbing and all that kind of stuff no wonder we got energy like this still kind of pouting around but we're going to press through it because I'm going to be here to help you press through that stuff and um, all those who wanted to stay in that childish behavior well all of those who choose to get rid of this behavior we get to graduate we get to be fresh and innocent all over again let the haters stay where they want to stay we got places to go we got people to see we're going to heal in a brand new way. It's a new season. Tomorrow I'm going to get on here and pull a Lenormand card and see what the Spirit wants to bring out for you and I for the next cycle. And uh, it's exciting. I really am excited. Uh, remember that when things want to come back up, you push them down and you say, no, I've already released it. Because, it, it, you know, if you know to do something and you don't do it, it can be worse on you and I if we continue just to go in a direction where we know better. It won't pay off for us. We got the world card, y'all. We got the last card of the deck and the first card of the deck. That's beautiful. Let's keep going. I cheer you on. Shalom, y'all. Keep releasing.